Okay guys, so to start out, I'm just going to be applying my Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer and I'm just going to apply that all over my face and just smoothing it into my skin, focusing on the areas where I mostly have larger pores, which is like my cheeks and my nose. So for foundation, I'm just going to be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. And I like to mix two shades, which are 24 Golden and 26 Amber. And I just like to mix these two just because it gives me the perfect shade. And I'm obsessed with this doe foot applicator. It's just so convenient and not messy. With other foundations, you have to like shake it on your finger or pour it on your hand or something like that. So I really like that this is a doe foot applicator so it just makes it a lot easier for me so i just like to mix them together all over my face and then i just like to blend it out with my flat top kabuki brush and i've been using this foundation for about a month now just to try it out just to let you guys know how i like it and i've been completely obsessed with it it gives amazing coverage so it is full coverage and i'm guessing that's because it is a foundation and concealer mixed together and it's a matte finish which of course i like because i'm super super oily so it does have up to a 12 hour staying power, but I've only worn it for up to like eight hours. So it does last all day. So it will last you like a full work day or a full school day. And I also like that it doesn't set into the skin super fast before you have to blend it out because some foundations you have to hurry up and blend it out before it dries or sets. So you can take your time with this. You don't have to go super, super fast or anything. So I do like that about this foundation as well. Next, I'm just going to be highlighting my face with the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. And you guys know I like to do this just to brighten up the center of my face. You could skip this step if you would like, if you don't really like the highlighted look in the center of the face. But I just like it just because it makes me look more awake. And you could also skip it if you are using this foundation because it is a foundation and concealer mixed. So that's also good if you're in a rush. And now I'm just going to blend out that concealer with my Damp Beauty Blender. And now I'm just going to be taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and setting everywhere that I apply concealer. And I'm also going to be doing the baking method. I've only done this about three or four times, but I've been liking it every time that I do it. Sometimes I'm too lazy to do it or I just don't feel like it, but I noticed that it makes a huge difference in how long my concealer lasts underneath my eyes. And I also recommend using the Damp Beauty Blender when you are baking just because it sticks better to the sponge instead of using a brush or something like that. So I have used the Beauty Blender and a brush and the Beauty Blender is just so much easier and it's less messy when you're baking. Definitely try this trick if you've been thinking about it because it does work. So yeah, I'm just going to be setting everywhere where I apply concealer with the translucent powder. Next, I'm just going to be taking a ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Amaze. This is one of my favorite ColourPop shadows, and I'm just going to be packing that all over my lid. This is also where baking comes in handy. If you like to do your eyeshadow after foundation and concealer, it helps to catch all of the fallout from the eyeshadow. So this is also beneficial with that as well. Now I'm just taking a little bit of bronzer, my Guerlain bronzer, and applying that to my crease just to add some dimension. And using a bronzer as an eyeshadow is really good if you're in a rush every day and you don't have time to grab another eyeshadow. So now I'm just going to sweep away the translucent powder. So 
So next I'm just going to be taking my Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder and setting the rest of my face. And now I'm just going to be taking my Guerlain Bronzer to add some dimension to my face and also to add a little bit more color so I don't look washed out. Here I'm just taking my Guerlain Bronzer again and using it as an eyeshadow like I did with the crease and just dragging it along my lower lash line. Also putting some kind of color like a bronzer or an eyeshadow on your lower lash line also helps to make your lower lashes pop when you apply mascara to them. Okay now for my favorite part of doing my makeup, the highlight. I'm going to be taking first my Bobbi Brown Highlighter and Bronze Glow and applying that to the high point of my cheekbones. And I also like to apply a little bit of highlighter to the tip of my nose as well. Now I'm going to be taking one more highlighter and applying it to the high points of my cheekbones. And this is Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. I like to use two highlighters sometimes, not all the time. I just like to use it on the times where I want a little bit extra of a glow. But most of the time, one is enough. So now I'm just going to be taking my blush. And this is Peach Twist by MAC. And I'm just going to be applying that over top of that highlighter. So for lashes, I'm just going to be taking my favorite Coco lashes, which are in the style Misha. And I like to apply those off camera, of course. And after that, I'm just going to be highlighting my inner tear duct using my Bobbi Brown highlighter and bronze glow. And I just like to do this, of course, to brighten up the eyes and make them look more open. This is really good if you wake up early in the morning and you look kind of tired. If you're not into the white eyeliner trick, I usually don't do that. I just like to put something in my inner tear duct, like the highlighter that I used that day. Next, I'm just going to be taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and applying that to my top and bottom lashes. Okay, moving on to lips, I'm just going to be taking my favorite lip liner from ColourPop, which is in the color Grunge, and applying that all over my lips. You could just finish off with this if you like more of a matte lip, but I decided to put a gloss over top of that, and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Gloss in the color Sepia, and I'm absolutely in love with this. I got this recommendation from some of you guys, so thank you so much for recommending this because this is now one of my favorite glosses. So I love, love, love this color. So that completes this everyday summer glow makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and try it out. Also, don't forget to check out the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer because I absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time.